Hawk, Glenn Hagberg and Dane Hopkins are the linesmen. This Saturday night matchup is underway as the Hawks control the opening draw and Jaden Kerr to get to the extended goal line. Buccaneers fire it the other way, redirected down into the Hawks zone. The icing washed out again as that one was touched just on the Blackhawks side of the red line. Hawks get it quickly back out to center. All are trying to locate it in front of the Des Moines bench. Helped along by Thorson. He's on a six-game point streak. He shoots here. It's blocked. Shoots again. Blocked again. Loose puck. Rolls back out to Nick Fascia. Left point. Backpedaling. Shooting. What a loose scores! Here come the Hawks! All Treacher and Thorson both near the front of the net on the shot by Fascia. It looks like if it was deflected, it went off the Buccaneer. Here come the Hawks with the game's first goal. Two minutes and eight seconds into the opening period. Waterloo in front, one to nothing. Buccaneers with the puck. Clark backhanding one down into the right wing corner. McInnes to it and avoids the check there from Keevan. Hawks give it up though. Buick shooting, misses the net. It comes off the end glass. McInnes bats it to the wall. Thorison tape to tape for Altrichter out to center. Has help with Muster. They crisscross near the Buccaneer line. Altrichter on the left wing side. Goes behind the Buccaneer net. Send it in front. Thorison scores! Here come the Hawks! If Gavin Thorson hadn't already extended the point streak on Fash's goal, he has now. It's number five on the season, his second of the weekend. 2-0 Hawks at 5-18 of the opening period. Hawks have the 2-0 edge. That's exactly what Brett Olson was talking about in pregame, getting the early start here at Buccaneer Arena after a difficult Friday game at home against Sioux Falls, where, as Coach Olson described it, the Hawks were a step slow. McInnes. Feeds the puck to Mustard. He redirected it. It goes down into the Des Moines zone. No icing here as Grammer is challenged by Altrichter. Thorson comes crashing after the puck along with Gafredo. Buccaneers get numbers back, and it's brought back to center by Borazinskis. Chips to the Hawk line. Glove down by Phelan. Put it off of Minahan, and the Buccaneers forward goes back to center to get it in front of his bench. Then for Gafredo. Trying to find Minahan, the pass is tipped, stolen by Thorson. Across the line again, drop pass, Mustard, wrist shot, he scores! Here come the Hawks! John Mustard makes it 3-0 Waterloo, less than six minutes into the first period, and Mustard with his team leading goal number 13 on the season on the drop pass from Thorson. It's a huge start for the Waterloo Blackhawks with three in the opening minutes, and that will send Jonathan Reinholdt to the bench into the game comes the Buccaneers' Ethan Dahlmeyer. The goal puck on the way by Buick chasing. He and Hillman lock sticks, cancel each other out. Now behind the net it is Thorson under some pressure, couldn't drop it back. It's stolen Deladonna trying to clear, and it hops over Brown's stick. Bad break for the Hawks, 10 seconds left on the power play. Hawks get on side. Miller slides the puck to Brown, crossing the line, feeds it to Hillman, right circle, he shoots and scores! Here come the Hawks! Miles Hillman, the Hawk captain, late in the power play. It's 4-0 Waterloo as Hillman hits the top corner from near the right face off dot. A big first period for the Waterloo Blackhawks as Miles Hillman gets his second of the season. It was set up by Connor Brown. And this one at 16-59 to give the Blackhawks a 4-0 lead just before the power play came to an end. Ended up deflecting toward the net. Now Mustard trying to get it off the end boards. He cannot. The Buccaneers flip it to the line. Minahan on left wing. Three on three. Head man pass. He finds Kernan stepping behind the hot defense. And a chance is snuffed out by Vashon with the glove. Calvin Vashon showed some net on. And mate Dyer. Dyer back for West out to the neutral zone. Diagonal dump into the right wing corner. Nyes has a step to it jostled, kept it away from Borazinskis, but his clearing attempt held in a shot by West and a save by Vashon, and with Borazinskis lurking near the edge, and Roy and Erdman takes the puck, rims it around to Altrichter on the left half wall. Steps toward the corner, navigates to the dot on the left side, then back to Reed. Now for Mustard at the right point. Mustard across the slot, wrist shot, saved by Dahlmeyer. Kernan, then to the bottom of the right circle, Minahan put it through the crease all the way to the opposite boards. It springs back out to Ford. Now to the right point. Here's Kernan, side of the net, Minahan, stick handles, drops it back, Ford shoots, and Vashon the save, and he covers it up with 150. And slings it through the neutral zone on his stick across the Hawk line, and it comes to Minahan above the right circle, then to Ford at the side of the net, drops it back, Minahan shoots, blocker save by Vashon, the puck gets it back to West, almost misfired, they play back and forth, and now it comes to Kupcho in the right circle as he gets involved for West, and now Keevan, a one-timer, his stick broke as he took the shot, puck went up into the air, Miller had it, couldn't get it out though, as Kupcho finds it again. Out to the deep slot, West, wrist shot, and Des Moines scores on a redirection by Braden Ford. A power play conversion, ending a string of 13 consecutive successful penalty kills for the Hawks. 
forward, redirects the west shot, and it's a 4-1 game as Des Moines breaks through at 4.30 of the third period. Away from Miller, back to Keevan, top of the left circle. Then for West at the line. Now Coop Cho, right point. Coop Cho, back for West, sets up Keevan for a one-timer. Vash on a right, has it taken away by Thorson for Waterloo. Thorson, back to his own line for Altrichter, up the ice with Lindbergh, two on one. Altrichter for the empty net, he scores! And the Waterloo Blackhawks make it five to one as Jakub Altrichter puts it into the net, or one of the, is that a goal or not? The red light went on, the puck went in. Were the Hawks on side? No, it's ruled no goal. They say that Gavin Lindbergh was over the blue line before the shot by Altrichter. Townsend tied up the draw, which now comes away from the dot and is pushed to the line. Does make it out to the neutral zone. Brought on right wing by Watkins. A round read, centering one. A shot and a save by Vashon. The red light went on, but the puck was never in. Vashon made the save, he kept the puck out and then got it covered up with 14.7 left to go in the third period. The call's no goal, it's the right call because that one never crossed the goal line. That was an anticipatory goal light that was turned on. And the faceoff will be at the right of Vashon with 14.7 remaining. Townsend wins the draw. Kerr takes it, fires it off the glass. It takes a Blackhawks bounce, finding Morick. He juggles it ahead down to the last half dozen seconds. Morick gets it into the offensive zone, rolled it to the end wall. Watkins stepped in front of him. The Buccaneers have it back in clear, but you can cue up the final buzzer at Buccaneer Arena. The Blackhawks beat the Buccaneers by the final count of four to one, riding a four goal first period to the win, getting through a long stretch of five on three time in the second, conceding a power play goal in the third, but finishing four of five on the penalty kill tonight and picking up win number 11 on the season.